So, since I'm new to this, I would like to have a guidance during the microdosing. What would you suggest? Is it okay to do it on my own? This is also a very interesting question. Uh, we can we mostly give a guideline. For example, three times a day, just a guideline. Then people will start feeling, well, if I do it in the morning, I get into such a self-diagnostic state and I just have to go to work. It does not suit me. No? For me, it suits when I come home and maybe take a bit more and go a bit more into it and actually experience that or maybe have a walk. Other people would like to um, actually in this day-to-day -day interaction train themselves there at the moment. So training in the heat of the moment. No? It's easy to do it in the forest or at home, but how do you act when the triggers come and make you think the way you normally think? So the during the day is a bit more proactive. It can be nice to be in that state a long time to really rewrite, but it can also can feel like a bit overwhelming. Then these people, I mean, if you really up for it and do it, and you can really take the time and do the dieta and don't see people and are free from your work, it can be advised to keep on it. But we don't all have that luxury. And that's the part of how to integrate into this time. Maybe feel, hey, only after work, or I'm free three times a day. That's a day I want to work with it first and then slowly try to integrate. I know it's not a clear answer, but that's because there is no clear answer. It's really up to yep. you to, to feel. Start low, feel how you act. Maybe take a cap, you go to work, you think, I'm only thinking about my trauma, man. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you feel, oh, wow, hey. Why, why, why am I always treating her like this? Or why am I accepting this shit? I had moments that I saw people talking to me and they almost made no sound. And I could really see it from a different view. The strange things these people are telling me and I actually used to believe it and go along with this, but it's very weird. Why, why was I listening to that? <laughs> and then it can be, very, uh, can be a great teaching to have it in the moment. To feel how it works for you. Where can you get your teaching? What fits your character, basically? Thank you, Aldo. In this section, you have mentioned Bobinsana Park and Flower. Is there a difference in strength, or are they the same? Well, um, that's why we try to give you this framework. Not to be pretentious, but since we don't all have a maestro, we're trying to give you as much of a way of working and framework as we can. And a good maestro would do only that and leave the teaching in your hands. As soon as they would say, this is how to do it, follow what I say, be like me and don't do like that, too much. Sometimes we need that, sure, you know, I'm not saying it's all wrong, but the teaching is you, the connection is you and the real maestro is the plant. That's the one who is going to teach you. And we are here trying to give you a framework in how to connect to this teacher in the right way and learn from the maestro the plant directly. And then once you're working, I hope I can inspire you, we can inspire you to work like that. Also try to forget again everything I told you um, because then it becomes your connection to it. I just share my experience, what worked for me and what worked for traditions and your unique and you will get your own info. And now the cool thing comes, hopefully, that that can be shared again. Maybe in a review, maybe in another meeting. I'm not sure yet what would be the right platform, but we also want to learn from you because only you can have your own unique experience, which I might never have thought of or no shaman ever thought of because he was not in your shoes. But there will be many people that might recognize themselves in your story and say, hey, that could be something for me. Great. Or for my partner or my parents, whatever. Yeah, great. Okay. This, this is why we invited you all, though, because we want to share the knowledge. And there's so much knowledge around. 
with people working with the plant medicine and there's so many things to discover and so many things to be connected to. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a, I want to ask you two more questions. One is very short. Uh, maybe it, 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 it asks for a long answer, but I don't know. Uh, does meditation uh, after a dose support the connection? What are your thoughts about that? Well, that's all about how you meditate and um, to give the time and space for the working definitely can enhance that. There is a tendency to meditate and find a blissful pace, which is great, also to learn that. And something like the Kapi can really help you be in that state, which is great, especially if that's a state not so common to you to learn your system also to experience that. But it can also turn into a form of escapism. And you have to be very honest to yourself, am I now really working on the things? And, and there's a whole discussion about what is meditation, you know, some will say don't do anything, others say it's actual work, working on what's happening. But be honest to feel if you make progress. Only you can analyze that. However you meditate, whatever your belief system is, am I now just all day here feeling great and not much is changing in my life? The real uh, proof of the pudding, basically, is if you see the change. Because the moment your mind changes, your reality changes. It's magic. You will see certain people coming in your life, pathways opening up, things you have needed. Many times, a lot of things break down first, you know, becomes actually not so joyful, at least not what you hope from joyful. It is joyful, but you might not recognize it like that. That the first parts are things, people falling away, whether it's your work, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your money, whatever it can be, but it's there to open up at a certain point a new space. So if you just see transformation happening, then you're on the right path. And if you feel with my meditation, I'm being this, I'm being this magician in control of my transformation, fantastic. Nothing happens, get into the action, <laughs> get out there and see what happens, so to say. The possible effects of uh, Bovenzana. Uh, so maybe that's a cool bridge to uh, a next subject. Uh, and she was asking for Blue Lotus as well, but maybe we can do that in the next webinar. I think the Bobizana, as she is such a beautiful plant. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, Esther, can you tell something about the possible effects about, uh, of Bobizana elixir, elixir uh, although? Definitely. Quite interesting because it was exactly the next plant I wanted to dive into after these questions. So thanks for leading the question into that plant. Um, why next to Bobinsana? Well, it's very closely related to the Kapi in a certain sense, not as in plant family, um, not as in like the Shakruna, they're always used or they so often used together. Um, the effect of the Bobinsana is one that can greatly support the one of the Kapi especially for people uh, in our environment, in the West. The main energy of the Bominsana is moving the focus of your mind. So your, your, your um, perception can be focused on the intellect, but your perception can also be focused on the heart or in the intestine. These are three different ways of thinking. You can feel with your gut. Emotions are in the heart and calculations and things are in the brain. The Aboriginals say we have these three brains and the real big decisions in life you make with your gut. And we say the same, follow your gut feeling. Emotional things, sensitive things, you best do with your heart. And only things like calculating how many twigs you have to bring to the fire, we do with the intellect. And in our world, we tend to turn this around. And that brought us pretty far with a lot of uh, inventions we did. The big question is if it made us very wise and actually brought us so much further as a species if we forgot to be in harmony with the environment. 
and the environment, not alone, but also us as a part of the ecosystem, is so complicated, it's so enormously complicated, that you almost cannot calculate with your intellect what's the best decision, what should I choose to do to have a positive outcome for me and the family or my dear ones or even the nature around me. Um, but we're so used in using that part of our uh, attention, I should say. And the Bobinsana helps to shift that more to the heart, even a bit to the gut, but mainly focused to the heart. And some can experience that as, a, as quite a strong effect. And some hardly notice it because they are there anyway more often. And it just push your way of thinking a bit more there, so you start more feeling. It translates as thinking, but it is more feeling. And you learn to trust that more. And a dieta with just Bobinsana, mm, at a certain point, if it kind of hits, so to say, it feels like your entire ego dissolves and there's just oneness and love for everything. And it becomes such amazing to feel the intelligence of this connection and you being part of that it is such a deep feeling and experiencing that feeling makes us so much aware of of what's happening around us to not just think from us but really realize not just as a concept but really feel that we are one system and everything we do to someone or something we do to ourselves, whether it's positive or negative, that might delve into karma. But the dieta and bomb and can really help to connect that. And why is it then so connected to kapi for people of our uh, time and space? That's where the kapi opens up, helps to observe. It also somehow helps to connect with your higher self. It's a bit of a metaphysical term, but once you start taking it, you understand. The Bobinsana helps to now observe these things from the heart energy. So instead of analyzing with the brain, oh, look, I was saying this and choosing that and this happened, you more feel. And it's so much more clear to feel sometimes. This doesn't feel right. I don't know why. Maybe it's a good partner or a good deal or... Her kids are friends of mine, or whatever the brain can tell you to be in certain situations. It can very clearly, easily feel wrong or very good. And once you start following that, once you start letting your heart guide you, very amazing things can happen. As with all these plans, but this is how the Bowman Sana really works towards that one. Um, Traditionally, they mostly use the bark, and especially in Europe, we use the bark because you can send it, maybe the leaves. And but I'm always very, very interesting in flowers. Every plant, they kind of hold a certain spirit. Everything has a spirit, but the flower is a special part. Hence, maybe why Patch made the flower remedies. I was interested in the flower remedies, so I'm always interested in the flower, just the flower. Since the Bobinsana is such a light, almost non-existent flower, it's just some, some, some hairs. To dry it, there's nothing left, literally, it, poof, it weighs nothing, and also all its energy is gone once you dry it. Now, with the luck that we have a lab in the jungle, we can actually make an extract of the fresh flowers. And we do this in cooperation with the tribes. We taught them how to prepare the right amount of water and alcohol to receive the flower immediately. They pick it and they put it in. And we receive that from the jungle for further processing. And I'm very happy and proud of the essence we were able to make from fresh flower. The bark, to compare them, the bark is a bit maybe more clear. It helps you think a bit more about metaphysical things, feel a bit more. 
and the flower is much more of your interrelationship. It feels a bit more sedative, feels a bit more warm, a bit more, ooh, a bit more relaxed. Um, but it's a very special experience. It's hard to describe further than I'm doing now. I hope it makes sense. But the combination, although a dieta is best done with one, so I advise to do the kapi and the bobinsana separate. As a tool, an ally after that, they can combine very nicely to be in the objective role and seeing from the heart. When there's a certain situation, combine them and look at what's happening and you clearly zoom out and feel, oh yeah, no, 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 no. That's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So besides its medicinal purposes, the essence of the tree, the songs that are around from a physiological, a spirito magico physiological point of view, this would be uh, the best way, in my opinion, to describe the Bobinsana. Any questions there?